Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Now, I understand when I do this video, I'm going to get a lot of hate, a lot of criticism. I'm going to have a lot of people that don't agree with me, and I'm sure it's all probably going to get death threats, but I don't just give a damn. I could care less, because let me tell you something right now. This whole CM Punk thing has gotten way, way out of hand. You know, CM Punk demanded that he be in the WrestleMania main event. CM Punk demanded that he be uh, WWE World Champion. He demanded that he gets a big push. He demanded this. He demanded that. Who in the hell does CM Punk think he is demanding all these things when the WWE has given CM Punk all that he can handle and more? Money in the Bank wins consecutively. WWE Championship runs. Main event runs. Oh, well, Punk wasn't in the main event. It doesn't matter. He was given. He was... He, he took the ball and he ran with it for over 400 days. For over 400 days, damn you. He main evented and headlined one of the biggest main events of WrestleMania against The Undertaker. Oh, well, Sean, it didn't close the show. It was still one of the featured main events. It was one of the marquee matches. CM Punk gets his own theme music by the cult of personality. Mr. McMahon paying the royalties to that music. CM Punk... Doesn't get his way. It's either his way or the highway. Who is CM Punk to demand anything? Oh, I want a WrestleMania main event. First of all, I want you to answer me this question right now. Answer me this question. Had CM Punk not left the WWE earlier than what was expected, so CM Punk's original contract was supposed to be up in July. Why in the bluest of blue hells, as The Rock would say, why in the hell would the WWE push CM Punk to a main event, let alone a world championship run, or be the main event of WrestleMania 30 when he is set to leave the company in July. What the hell sense does that make? I could see if CM Punk was going to sign an extension. I could see if CM Punk was going to stay with the company. Then the WWE could have put CM Punk in a main event slot. He could have got a world championship run. But why in the blues of blue hells would WWE risk, risk, the chance of giving CM Punk everything that he wants and, and listening to all his demands. Why should the WWE give in to CM Punk? Okay, oh, well, John Cena gets what he wants. John Cena gets this. He doesn't get... John Cena is committed. He is loyal and he is dedicated. John Cena isn't just going to leave the WWE on short notice. And John Cena sure as hell isn't going to just not finish up the rest of his contract. CM Punk is going about this the wrong way. Listen, I feel bad, okay? I feel horrible that CM Punk has been injured and he's been working hurt. I feel horrible that he's been... Uh, misdiagnosed. I feel horrible that it's the WWE's fault that they should have given CM Punk a, lo a, you know, a long time off. The WWE should have saw these issues about CM Punk, but they didn't. But for CM Punk to be demanding all these things, I want a WrestleMania main event. I want a World Championship run. I want to face Daniel Bryan. I want to be you know, the last match to close the show at WrestleMania 30. Why? Why would the WWE give CM Punk what he wants? Why would they give in to his demands? How many times has the WWE had to give in to CM Punk's demands and what he wanted in his contract and the way he wanted, right down to the littlest detail? You say that CM Punk cares about you fans. You say that CM Punk loves the fans. He loves the admiration. Well, I think the CM Punk we're getting is telling a whole different story. Okay, I know you don't want to hear this. I know I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down. I know I'm going to get death threats. I know I'm going to have people that are going to come at me saying that I'm wrong. Well, you know what? I'm entitled to my opinion, and you're entitled to your opinion. There are going to be fans that are going to fight for CM Punk to the bitter end. Just like I would fight to the bitter end for John Cena. But at least John Cena isn't, you know, just giving up and leaving. You know, that's not what John Cena is all about. Well, CM Punk's injured. Well, that's the excuse. Well, CM Punk has been injured for a very long time. CM Punk is an independently owned contractor. He could have got this stuff worked out on his own. CM Punk says he has saved up enough money. So if the WWE didn't want to look out uh, for the best of CM Punk's interest, well, then why didn't CM Punk look out for the best in CM Punk's interest? Why didn't CM Punk look out for his health needs? The bottom line is I think these demands are completely ridiculous. I could see if CM Punk was staying with the WWE, then yes, give him that main event run. Give him to, give him to some, of, some of his demands. But for CM Punk to be demanding all these things, in my opinion, is completely ridiculous. And that is not beneficial of a WWE superstar. And it, that is not what you're supposed to represent yourself as. I mean, CM Punk is... He left. He took his ball. He went home. CM Punk has turned his back on every single man, woman, and child that has ever supported him. I don't care whatever way you want to look at it. Oh, well, the WWE's booking sucks. The WWE's writing has been piss poor. CM Punk wasn't happy with the way he was being used. He wasn't happy with the way he was being utilized. CM Punk deserved the WrestleMania main event. Listen, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be steady with you. Did CM Punk deserve a WrestleMania main event? Yes. Does CM Punk deserve another run as WWE champion? Yes. Does CM Punk deserve to go against Daniel Bryan? Yes. But does CM Punk deserve this right now, knowing that he may not sign a contract? Why would the WWE push CM Punk so hard, knowing that he was going to leave in July? And there was a major trust issue here. There's a failure to communicate, because obviously, the WWE was right in not giving in to CM Punk's demands. Because what did CM Punk do? He left. He just left. 
Got up and left. Didn't like the WWE. Didn't like what they were going to do. Didn't like his positioning. So CM Punk, like a little baby, like a little girl, didn't like the position he was in, and he left. Months ago, CM Punk knew he was going to be in this spot. Months ago, CM Punk knew he was going to have a program with Triple H. He didn't have a problem with it then, but all of a sudden, he has a problem with it now. I think there's a lot to more to this than meets the eye, and there's some things that are not you know, so coherent. There's things that are not really... Uh, clear to me right now, but all I know is all these people on here are or who are defending and demanding that CM Punk gets what he wants is completely ridiculous. If he would have stayed with the WWE, that's one thing. But for CM Punk to leave the company earlier than what was expected, the WWE is right for not giving in to CM Punk's demands because the WWE obviously had a feeling that this was going to happen. Subscribe.